tell me a little bit about what you guys are hoping to accomplish today and uh, how you think it's going so far. Well, ultimately, what we want to do is change the conversation in America about economics so that it really focuses on growth. We think growth is the answer. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of diversion, as far as I'm concerned, talk about job creation, cutting the deficit, and all that. And that's what growth will produce. So the real question is, how do you get to growth? And so what we're doing today is focusing on tax policy, because we think that that's where the most leverage is. If you get the tax policies right, America will grow faster and a lot of our economic problems will be solved. One of the things I found most interesting today was uh, in Governor Christie's speech. He talked a lot about compromise. You don't hear the C word banging around a lot these days. Uh, in order to get anything enacted these days, you're going to have to have Democrats come aboard too. How does that happen? We strongly agree with that. And, you know, our inspiration, our namesake is President Bush. And you've seen during the time that he has left office, he does not attack President Obama. He believes in an elevated conversation, an elevated debate, and that's what leads eventually to compromise. I mean, if you're, if you're so nasty as, as the kind of rhetoric that we've heard, you're never going to get any compromise. And we also think that as far as growth is concerned, that's something that both parties can embrace. Everybody wants growth. The question is how to get growth, and that's an important debate. We think that cutting taxes is the way to get to growth. Obviously, there are a lot of people on the Democratic side and on the Republican side who disagree with that. We want to have that debate, and we think the evidence, the empirical evidence, is behind reducing rates. Do you think that this conference is really about informing the current political race, or is this really about something that happens after the election? Because it's pretty polarized out there right now. No, I, I really believe that the current political race is going to focus very, very much on these two issues, growth and taxes. So yes, it is polarized, but I think you're going to see over time a, a strong desire to get to solutions. And we've, we've seen this from President Obama, who's talked about, he understands what's wrong with the corporate tax rate. Kevin Hassett in the last panel just made the, the point in asking a question that since the United States raised corporate taxes under President Clinton, around the world, corporate taxes have been cut 133 times. We are now at a rate of almost 40% on corporate taxes, whereas our average competitor has a rate of 25%. Democrats as well as Republicans understand that. So I think there are grounds for compromise. If you could have anything to come out of this conference in the current political environment, what would you have come out of it? What would you like the big takeaway to be here? Well, I have two takeaways. One is changing the conversation so that people talk about growth. And specifically, we like this idea of 4% growth. We think we all like 4% growth. Right. I mean, it's, but it's aspirational. We can get there. It's not kind of, you know, 5 6%. That would be nice. But we really think America can get to 4% growth. We've done it 23 times in the last 60 years. But we're talking about sustainable 4% growth. And we've heard this from a lot of speakers. We've heard the 4% mantra. And so I love hearing that. But the second thing is um, what they should get out of it is look at the data. Look at the data from states from other countries and from American history. That's what we're trying to do here. We're looking at what were the periods, what are the countries, what are the states that are growing, and how much does tax policy have to do with that? That's the main thing we're looking at. And I think the evidence that I've seen is that low rates, a broader base, really lead to more growth. Just, let me give, give you one factoid that I think is important that actually hasn't come out here. When you look at the, the nine states that have no personal income tax between 1999 and 2009, not only did they grow faster, not only did they increase employment faster, they increased employment by 8%, whereas the average state only increased by 1%. Much more important than that is they increased tax receipts by a factor of 2 compared to the high tax states. So low taxes, low tax rates, will bring in the receipts that are needed for essential government services. I'm not somebody who thinks that you can't have the government ought to go away. There are certain things that it ought to do.